As men, we are expected to be strong, to be able to control our emotions, and to be able to handle anything that comes our way. The part that society didn't seem to consider is that we're actually human. Humans get sad, angry, frustrated, and yes, depressed. So while life overall can be wonderful, we all experience ups and downs. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the tips and techniques that I've used in order to get through those tough times. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman and welcome to another episode of Dad University. We cover a different dad advice topic every Thursday. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. This video is in partnership with Fatherly. We'll put a link to Fatherly in the description, so be sure to check them out. Every person experiences tough times, so know that you're not alone. You might be having financial hardship or difficulties in your career, relationship troubles, health issues, or something else that's affecting you in a big way. Just know that there are things that you can do to change your situation. Now, change requires action. Let me repeat that. Change requires action. So if you are not taking action, you aren't even giving yourself the opportunity for change. Here we go. Number one, acknowledge it. You can't bury your head in the sand and expect that something bad is just gonna go away. Acknowledging that there is an issue is really important. Feel the anger, the sadness, the loss, whatever it is that's inside, and let it out. Cry, yell, or just even talk about it. But what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you don't judge your own feelings. Give yourself permission to feel and acknowledge the issue that you're facing. Number two, seek support. So we men sometimes have difficulty, often have difficulty, okay, always have difficulty admitting that we need help. And while we can solve a lot of problems on our own, there are situations in which it's just too much. We get concerned that we're gonna be judged or that asking for help is some kind of weakness or negative thing. But if you've tried to solve a problem and you can't, it is totally okay to ask for help. Lean on your friends and your family for support. If you feel like you can't lean on your family and friends or you don't want to, then try a support group. And that might be a support group in person, locally, or you can try finding a support group online. There's often resources with groups of people who are experiencing the same issues that you are. If you don't feel like any of those solutions will help you, then we have number three, get professional help. There are experts out there in nearly every topic and every issue you can imagine. When my mother passed away years ago, it was so painful. I had not experienced such a loss like that. It really, it hurt my heart and I didn't know how to handle it. So my father recommended that I go to grief counseling. I didn't even know there was such a thing, but I figured I had nothing to lose, so I might as well try it. I learned so much by talking about my feelings to a professional. You may not think that they can help you, but they can. I really feel like that helped me get through the hardest time in my life. Number four, be good to your body. Even if you're experiencing things up here, taking care of your body is going to help you. You're going to want to make sure that you get plenty of sleep, that you're exercising, and that you're eating healthy, taking care of your body. We often neglect these things when we're going through something difficult. On the other hand, you want to make sure that you're not doing those to the extreme either as people will have a tendency to sleep quite a bit or overexercise as a way to battle those difficult times. I can also say that for me, reducing my alcohol consumption really made a big impact. In addition to just feeling better physically overall, I noticed less mood swings. And when I did feel down, the duration of how long it lasted was much less. And finally, number five, practice gratitude. 
So I know when you are down, it's pretty difficult to think of something positive. But remember, change requires action. So it can be as simple as you have air to breathe. You have clean water. You have a roof over your head. You're able to walk. I bet if you sat down, you could probably come up with a lot of things that you are grateful for. I'm going to suggest you create a gratitude journal. So when you first wake up in the morning, write down three things that you're grateful for and why. And right before you go to sleep, write down three things that you're grateful for and why. And what happens is that you begin to focus on the positive things in your day rather than the negative things. Here's the deal. I'm going to summarize this for you. We all experience tough times. So I'm suggesting that you acknowledge it, you feel it, you get the support around you, but most importantly, you have to take action. And when you do those things, you are going to get through the tough times much quicker. Keep in mind too, if it's something that you can change, then you gotta change it. But if it's something that you can't change, then all you can do is change your attitude about it. I'd love to hear from you. When you experience difficult times, what is something that you do to get through it? Leave your feedback in the comment section below. Be sure to give this episode a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on that notification bell, and share this video on social media. Also, be sure to check out Fatherly, our partner in this video. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.